Brought to you by Gears Ramlet. All right, so here's the chicken skeleton or a bird skeleton, and what we have done is we are going to are doing this exercise where we're going to dissect the bone. So first day one, we're going to get our initial mass. And this is what we did. So when we took a, we basically most people do this where they just take all the flesh off. We decided to cook it and eat it, and let's. Let's do this. You got your frame of reference, so he's going to explain where this actual drumstick that you got is from. All right. So this bone is basically this top part right here, this top bone that you can see. Um, this is the proximal part of the bone, and this is the distal part. And I can tell that because the bigger part of the bone is, is usually going to be the proximal part versus the distal. And then I took the bone and I angled it up like this to figure out whether or not which side was anterior and which side was posterior. And I figured out the side with the groove right here is posterior and the side without the groove is anterior because with, when you look at the, uh, when you look at the actual bone, you can see that the um, joint is connected to the groove which allows the bone to move like so. Okay, so where your, so your, your top of your hands right there, I, I'll circle with the mouse. So that is gonna articulate, which you can move for a second, Articulate right here with the hip bone. Yeah. All right. So as we're doing the skeletal unit, one of the words we often say is articulated, disarticulated. So this is a disarticulated uh, chicken bone that we got. I got from a grocery store. We cooked it. We just finished eating it. So let's um, pause for a second. Just gonna go to the tray. So let's do this. So after consuming it, we basically tried to get the articular. We tried not to get the articular cartilage off, which. Is this is the this which is right here? That some that came off some of it. And what we're going to do, unfortunately, because I cooked these instead of us just making these raw, some of them broke. So go ahead, switch. All right, now this hold it up so we can see right there. Just kind of I'll follow my mouse here. Or you hold it up, I'll use it. Right inside there, that's the marrow. So kind of put it back together as if it weren't broken. All right, we're still going to dissect this. Rotate your finger. Rotate. Make sure your thumb. All right, there we go. You see the break, all right? We can actually revisit this, talk about a certain break. Now, grab the other one and just kind of do a firm like this. Don't break it, but just kind of do it. Don't break this one. Yeah, no, don't break it. Just grab it and kind of, you know, he's not applying, he's applying a little pressure. Now, he could break it, but that's pretty firm. What's going to happen, go ahead and drop it next to each other. What's going to happen is, we're, we're going to mash these out. So we go back to our direction. We're going to mash these out. And then you got to wait because I'm going to soak it overnight in nitric acid. What's going to happen next, and we'll do a, a follow-up video. If he grabs it now, picks it up, and he's not, he's, gonna, he's not going to bend it, but if he were to bend it, you could actually make the proximal end and the distal end now touch each other. And, you can print my, and there's one where you can actually tie it in half. So what we're going to go and set it down. Oh, the mouse. What we're going to do is we're going to make. Hello. We're going to make a cut, kind of like if we do a cut like that. What type of section would that be? Mid sagittal. Mid sagittal. And I'll take it, and rotate it, so I can see a lateral view. There, we go. No, lateral view. Oh. Yeah. So if we do this, we're still kind of doing a. What are we doing now? Not a mid sagittal, but sagittal. Huh? frontal coronal. Frontal coronal. So I'm going to have half do it like this, and then put in half do it the other way, and then we should be able to see and identify the, the marrow. We won't be able to say what's red or yellow yet, but I'll give you a hint. Like yellow has the adipose tissue, and red is where you make red blood cells. So this is kind of day one. All we got to do now is mass it, and then wait for me to soak it overnight. So that's part one of our bone dissection.